Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again, and welcome back to my real walkthrough of Prey. And we're going to take on the Black Box Project, and we're going to be rewarded with the Q cell, Q beam cell ammo fabrication plan. We'll be able to make our own ammo for the Q beam, best weapon in the game. Um, first of all, here I am in Alex's office, and January won't shut the fuck. You know what? Let me like. There we go. Quiet, dude. No, oops. Oh shit, I killed him. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, reload. There you go. Let that be a lesson to you, motherfucker. Oops, pardon my French. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let me just uh, take on everything in here. There we go, and let's go do some recycling. I can get underway fairly shortly. Not much business. Just do some recycling here. Um, this is the Q-beam I'm working on. This is the Q-beam that's extra. That can go in, that can go in. Don't want the disruptor batteries. Don't need the shotgun. I already got a shotgun. And don't want the disruptor stun gun. That looks good. Do it to it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, love it. Don't you love collecting a, a whole whack of materials in this little bin here? That's one of my favorite parts of the game. I just love doing that. Okay, uh, Neuromod time. Wait anyway, I left a couple of synthetic materials in here. Okay, well, at least they didn't go anywhere. There we go. So, now... We've got six Neuromods. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Um... The inventory is just the way it likes her. Let's get underway. The Black Box Project. We started this off by visiting the Beams and Waves lab earlier on. Um, check out the the uh, the appropriate videos in the playlist. Okay, I'll, I'll put a link in the video description which videos are related to this. And we just finished uh, getting the key to the Black Box lab from Josh Dalton out in Guts. The Guts. Alright, so we got that on board. Let's finish this mission off. Now, this, everything out here is changed. You've been trapped in a simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a Can't wait to get long. away from this guy. Typically, this whole run, I've done a lot of practice runs on it, is without January, so this would be a treat. Now, it could be a great mimic just around the corner here. Cause... Okay, completed research on that. And get some. Oh man, I really whacked him up good. <laughs> get some, yeah. Who's your daddy? Get some. Yeah. Yeah, things have changed around here, so don't go running around thinking, okay, I already cleared this area. It's all it's all fine, it's all good. It's not, it's not good. Out there are a whole bunch of cystoids. Um what we can do is kind of risky, but this works really good. Grab this explosive container. We're going to throw it as soon as the door opens, okay? The door opens, whip it out there, ba boom. And that typically takes care of all the cystoids out there. Yeah, get away from me! That's okay. We're going to hook up with a medical operator fairly, fairly shortly. Out you go. Okay, good. Good. Any bad boys out here? Now, don't do what I did in the Praxis run. If you throw the explosive container... Oh, there's a Weaver down there. Yeah. If you throw the explosive container right here, you blow up this glass floor. <laughs> so I went wandering over here and it fell right through the floor. We, yeah, we can research this guy. Great. Okay, complete another stage of Weaver research. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. Take care of him later when we go back upstairs to the Arboretum. This should be pretty clear. Huh, there's some explosive containers here. Okay, I'm gonna take note of that when they finally take care of that Weaver. Okay, here we go, back into Hardware Labs.
Alright, now usually there's a phantom just around the corner here. Once again, this area was cleared earlier, but now it's respawned with the bad boys. We've done all our research on phantoms, so it's just a matter of taking him down. Here he is. Yeah. Okay, you get the way of the drunken wrench smackdown. Bad, bad phantom. <laughs> That's so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Oh, stuff is responding here too. Oh, look. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time here. We're going to see it. Alright, so. Keep that in mind. Very good. Okay, there's going to be a couple of... I didn't want that box to go there. Heading into hardware labs now. There's going to be a couple of corrupted operators around here. Let's see if we can tag them up. There's one right there. There's one. There's usually two. There's one. Okay, so we got them both tagged. Let's get them the way of the drunken wrench. Chug down a bottle of beer and. We yeah, gotta one-shot those guys with drunken wrench. Okay, your turn. <laughs> and get that! Yeah, <laughs> the bow. Uh oh, Red, Red Slack, good day. Where did they come from? There's cystoids upstairs, but I didn't know. Okay, maybe they fell down. Okay, what I want to do is pile up all these operators here. This is a lot, say. Eh? Make a big pile of operators here. Throw a recycler grenade at them. Make it a whole bunch of synthetic. And mineral material. All you guys being decommissioned. Getting an honorable discharge. Who else wants to join the pile? You? Yeah, this is going to be a big pile. Okay, once again, Major Slack is kicking the game's ass so bad that they had to take out a, a UN binding resolution to get me off its ass. <laughs> and here come the authorities. Wait a minute, you got some Q-beam cell ammo. No, it's because we live near a hospital. That's why. That's going to make a nice big pile of synthetic and mineral material. Mm, mineral and synthetic material. <sighs> Alright, um, should be one more here. Get them all? Get them all? I think we're ready for some recycling. Save the game just in case things go sideways. Put that thing in there and ba boom. Oh man. Sweet. <laughs> yum yum.
Make some ammo with that. Whole bunch of ammo. Looks good to me. Next. The Beams and Waves Lab. Up on the second floor of the Hardware Labs. Okay, show you on the map where I am. Okay, we're in the atrium. Up on the second floor here. Bound to be a weaver up here. And some cystoids. There's the cystoid nest. There's the weaver over there. Let's see if we Welcome. can research it. Maybe I can help you. Oh yeah, let's get a little spit shine here. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit couldn't handle. This won't take long. All go. done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Okay, let's just hang out here. Wait for this weaver to come back. If it takes too long, I'll just edit it out. Come on. Okay, I'm out of range. Whoop, wait a minute. Okay, so now this calls for a null wave transmitter. Make sure my Q beam is fully loaded. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, rookie mistake. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna power throw this no way transmitter all the way over there when he comes back, and then let him have it with the Q beam. Come on back there, little buddy. Come on, out of boy. Got him. Dude! Oh man! Cut him up good! I think that calls for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> okay, what'd you give up? It could be a, a phantom over there. There he is, I see him. Actually, I want to take care of this guy because I don't want to backdoor him as I'm taking care of business in the Beams and Waves Lab. Beams and Waves Lab, rather. Okay, so basically, just glue him up, smack him down. Gets up. Yeah. Didn't you hear me the first time? Well, he gives up a weapon upgrade kit. Thank you, Mr. Phantom. Thank you. Okay. Hey, what do you got here? Oh, is that your Big Bang Big Bang candy? <laughs> it's mine now. Nom, nom, nom. All right. Beams and Waves Lab. The Black Box Project. Could be some cystoids in here. Um... Oh, look at that. Spare parts on top of here. Might. Um, typically what I had planned for this is just throw a recycler charge in there. So that's what we're going to do, because we got a few of those to spare. Yeah, there's definitely cystoids in there. Okay. up a little bit of exotic material. Watch, there could be some left over here.
and finally back into the beams and wave slab in here okay Got a couple cystoid nests there if we hit them both at the same time they could blow each other up There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, any bad boys left? No? Okay, finally, we can get into that area right there, which is what... <laughs> There's something creepy crawling around here. Okay, one thing at a time. Yeah, this named phantom named Lane Carpenter is in there. Okay, basically stick them up, whack them down. <laughs> Sounds kind of naughty. <laughs> Come on out there, big boy. Mr. Fumblefingers totally screwed that up. Now he's gonna run out. He's random running off somewhere. Thanks a lot, Mr. Fumblefingers. Never seen him exit the lab before. Yeah. I Okay, and once he's down, that's okay, there's a med operator right over there, he'll just fix this right up. He gives out the Q-beam cell fabrication plan, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want one of those. Now we can make Q-beam ammo anytime we want. Alright, so mission accomplished, and there's also a whole bunch of Q-beam ammo in here. And over here. And there's also some other goodies in here, I forget what. Let's just look around. No wave transmitter. Twelve shotgun shells. That seems to be a scripted thing there. That's that's what I got last time. And on this computer, we can. Complete the, the mission by hitting that up there. And you can read that up if you so desire. Pause the video and read that up if you so desire. And get a Q-beam fabrication plan. So you can manufacture your own Q-beam anytime you like. But we've already gone through two. That's it. That's a black box project done. Did they get all the ammo? Hang on. Some there. There's some over here. Yep. Done. <laughs> Sweet, we got over a thousand. Good. Excellent. Okay, let's go get a spit shine from the med op. What's this over here? Oh yeah, right, that thing. I can help you. Whee! <laughs> okay. Pardon me. Fix me up there, buddy. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Okay, and while we're here, we might as well go visit the engineer operator over in the machine shop. And some more stuff to do in there as well. Okay, gotta watch out for corrupted operators in here. And or a phantom of some kind. I think an etheric phantom. K 
Okay, there's our engineering quiet. operator. Quiet, we're doing it. We're in combat here. Trying to focus. Okay, could have scored the here we go. An etheric phantom. Come on. What are you doing there? Boy yeah. He's almost dead. Wow. I can just ran up and shotgun him. Yeah, let him do that. <laughs> I actually, actually got a sneak attack out of it. How about that? The sliding buckshot shampoo. There we go. We got a new move. <laughs> Give it up, baby. Give it up. Okay, let's go get fixed up. Get our suit fixed up there. Inspecting. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. Indeed, you did. Job done. Job done. I love you since that. Job done. Please all right, now I'm pretty sure that's it, but um, let's just check around for any corrupted operators. Looks good. Okay, what I want to do is throw a recycling charge here to open this up here. That will like get rid of this, and we can go in there and get a whole bunch of goodies, including the weapon upgrade kit fabrication plan, if that's a scripted uh, thing there. So let's just go around and collect all the operators, dead operators and whatnot. Dead turrets. Pile it up in front of the door so we'll get some extra material when we throw the recycling charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Okay, radioactive stuff in there. Here's a dead soldier. Calling all dead soldiers. There's a dead soldier. There's no one. Oh, look at here. Okay, now I could whack this guy, but you know. Oh, here's one. He's got some QB oh, cell on it, ammo on him, too. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, one more quick look around, that's it. Let's throw this guy in for good measure. Well, these things are really heavy, see how slowly I'm moving? Okay, that's it. Back away. Lights off. Recycle charge up. Quick save, just in case Mr. Fumblefingers completely botches this up. And. Huh. Something blocked it. Okay, let's try this again.
That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, the first one they can didn't land right. Okay, mission accomplished. Yeah. And we can get inside. Uh oh. Bad, bad engineering operator. Baboon. Bad boy. Yeah. And give up that Q beam cell ammo. Okay, it should be a whole bunch of goodies here. The thing I'm really looking for is this right here weapon kit fabrication plan. Sweet. Now we can manufacture our, our own weapon upgrade kits. Yeah, do that right away. <laughs> That's what you get for being a coffee cup. And don't forget the Neuromod here. A couple of Typhon lures. Spare parts. Lots of kitties in here. Okay, if I miss anything, I'm gonna find it off camera and take a good look off camera, off camera for that. Let's go make us some goodies. Help we go. Recycle. That looks good. Alright. And first of all, we can make one Neuromon to start with that. Yum yum. And now... Q-Beam. I want to max out the power and the firing time so that will require five weapon upgrade kits and we got one so let's make four more. Page down, weapon upgrade kit. Oh yeah, let's do that again. Oh yeah, let's do that again. Cranking out the weapon upgrade kits here, boss. Alright, crank out the weapon upgrade kits there, Slack. <laughs> Sweet! Okay, and on to the Q-beam. Upgrade. Upgrade, I says. There we go. Power, and now let's upgrade the firing time. Oh no. Dos. However, you say three in Spanish, and. Quadros. <laughs> Excellent. We're packing. We are packing. I do actually um, want to upgrade the reload speed on the shotgun too. And if we're ever just swimming in that weapon upgrade kits, also the recoil. You know what, I could probably do that right now. But let me crunch the numbers off camera to see how much I can afford to do. Um, and I also want to make some Q-beam cell ammo as well. But for now I'm going to call it. That was a hell of a run. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's it. Thanks for watching. And hey, don't forget to give the old slacks a thumbs up. These real walkthroughs require a ton of uh, practice and study. This is not a blind playthrough. This is a real walker. All right, so thanks for watching. And hey, subscribe to my channel if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative. See you next video.